this stitch is home to a very special rodent. It may look like a rat, but this is in fact a European water vole. Found across most of Europe, these small herbivorous mammals have become increasingly scarce in the UK, with their numbers having reduced by over 90%. To put that into perspective, that's the most dramatic decline of any UK mammal species within the last century. This is the result of increased predation and intensive agricultural practices. Luckily, water voles are now protected here, and conservation efforts have slowed their decline. The National Water Vole Survey helps collect important data for biologists on the population and distribution trends of these animals. And this is something you can take part in. But if you're not an expert, what are the signs to look out for? The best time of year to look for water voles is from mid-April to September, when there is plenty of vegetation around. There are lots of little clues that can help you tell whether water voles are nearby. The first thing to look for are feeding stations. These are piles of small grasses cut to about 2-3 to three centimetres in length. If a water vole has nibbled them, they will have been bitten at a 45 degree angle like this. The second thing you can look for is a latrine. Water vole droppings are about 8-10 to 10 millimetres long, cylindrical in shape and about the size equivalent of a tic tac. Identifying burrows is where things get a little bit trickier, as those made by water voles are hard to distinguish from those made by species such as rats or kingfishers. Usually, a water vole burrow will be wider than it is high, and will be situated along the water's edge, or even sometimes under the waterline. So there you have our top tips. Hopefully this will give you a good starting place when it comes to finding these elusive creatures. And by taking part in surveys such as the National Water Vol Monitoring Programme, you'll be actively contributing to on-the-ground research efforts. To find out more, take a look at the links in the description below. And you never know, if you're lucky, you might just catch a glimpse of these beautiful animals in the wild.